Good evening, everyone. I'm Dee Griffin. Thanks so much for joining us. Coverage you can count on begins with Richmond County deputies investigating a deadly string of shootings within several days. News Channel 6's Dearney Sir Jefferson has the story. Sound like an automatic weapon, about 14, 15 shots. Eddie Burley lives right across the street from where shots rang out on Oslo Road Easter morning. I just saw the uh, fire department or the paramedics pull him out of the car and look like they laid him on the ground and start doing uh, uh, CPR on him. 21-year-old Jawan Russell died as a result of that shooting. A shooting three days before in the same neighborhood killed 24-year-old Brandon Peebles. And I heard a lot of shooting. I said, sound like bad here. So as I was approaching to come home, the police was everywhere. I had to park around the corner and walk up here. Investigators say Brandon Peebles was shot at least one time on the 2700 block of Prague Court. He later died from his injuries. I knew him from the neighborhood and he was just a quiet guy. I always walked by respectful speak. Both shootings are still under investigation and no arrests have been made yet. There is no word from investigators if there are any potential suspects or persons of interest. It's kind of scary too because it's like, you know, they don't know who did it. People living in this area tell me the recent shootings have left them on edge. I'm very much more cautious. I kind of come in the house early because I don't even want to be coming out to my car at night since, you know, since they don't know what happened. You feel unsafe, you know, you know, because, you know, you don't know where, what direction or where it might come from. The violence continued Monday morning when 72-year-old Johnny Coleman was shot on Old Savannah Road. That shooting is still under investigation. We have reached out to the Sheriff's Office for more information on the shootings and investigations and have yet to hear any updates. In Augusta, Dear Nisa Jefferson, WJBF News Channel 6.